So uh, how about uh, take us into Matterport property report? Let's take a look at what a, a Matterport property property report looks at like, and then perhaps you could take us through uh, how it's delivered and what you can make changes on. You want to go ahead and share your screen? Sure. And uh, while Tom is setting up, uh, again, his websites are sparksmediagroup.com and scanyourspace.com. Okay, I'm looking at your screen. So uh, for context, for, for those that are perhaps not Matterport service providers or thinking about getting Matterport, uh, you're actually in the, the back end um, of uh, Matterport workshop, which is at my.matterport.com. Only way to access that is to actually have a Matterport account. Correct. And um, once I'm in here, I, I clicked on a space and then there's various tabs. So I'm going to click on this property report tab, which you see right here. <clears throat> uh, this particular space is a lobby level of a hotel. So it's fairly big. Uh, it's coming in at about 66, 31 square feet. Um, I haven't really edited this too much. They just kind of spit this out uh, using some sort of AI, I'm sure. Uh, but if we want to finesse this and change room labels or even just adjust walls, we can do that. Uh, to do that, we'd click on Edit Layout. Uh, even, even before you edit the layout, though, if you could go, oh, sure. if I could trouble you just to go back. And yep. what else do you get in a property report? Uh, we can download this as a PNG. Um, you get all the room measurements. You can download a CSV file, which looks like this. Uh, so it has room labels. And I haven't labeled these rooms yet, so they say other. But it has widths, lengths, dimensions, height. Uh, height's a good one. Um, I didn't notice that until just now. Um, and then square footage, what floor it's on, if it's in indoor or outdoor. Okay, and then for those uh, in Europe, it comes in square meters as well. Uh, so if we go back to the property report, so um, uh, and how quickly is the property report delivered? Is it delivered with your Matterport space and it's instantly available? I believe it is. I haven't ran across the scenario where the space is uh, ready to view and I haven't seen the property report. I know that um, older spaces that I've uploaded, you have to re-upload it in order to get the property report. So you can't go backwards and let's say, try to click on a pro property report tab from um, uh, upload that you did eight months ago or a year ago. Okay, so for, for context, uh, the, the, the property report was actually part of the Matterport winter 2024 release that was on February 15th, 2024. So I could imagine that any Matterport spaces before February 15th were not being delivered with a, a property report. And, and that uh, Matterport winter release was all about uh, automating the future, which was AI and automation. So this is actually an example of uh, Matterport using AI and automation to automatically create this property report from a Matterport digital twin. Yeah, great, great context. Um, why I find this useful, uh, just to get into that really quick, is um, a lot of times we're charging by the square foot, and we can talk about pricing structure later, um, but we charge by the square foot. And previously, we didn't have a really good way of um, getting the overall scanned square footage quickly without ordering a floor plan. And so a client would say, well, I want to know how many square feet we have. You know, our records show it's 2,000 square feet. Uh, and we come in and scan it and know it's 4,500 or 1,500. Um, and so this is a nice way to give a pretty quick, pretty quick um, representation of what the actual square footage is. And so what I've been using it for typically is if I get this back, um, I don't necessarily care to have all these particular rooms drawn in, I'll delete all the interior walls and just have an outline of what I scanned and give them that as the square footage. Um, so there's different ways to use this. Um, and that's- I, I, I could know. imagine part of the reason you, you do that is if, 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 uh, if this is simply for billing purposes, uh, and if you gave the client the floor plan, they might say, well, can I have the floor plan? And that's actually a different, uh, probably a different add-on for you to, to offer separately 
Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly.